Good morning, prayer plant girl here. Well, I'm out in the garden this morning and uh, my goal is to pick a bunch of these tomatoes that I have hanging right here so I can get a batch of uh, slow cooker ketchup made. If you haven't heard about slow cooker ketchup, I'm gonna put a link to uh, Digwell Greenfinger's channel. Um, he has a great video on how to make it. It is uh, the best homemade ketchup that I've had by far. Um, I made it last year, really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to get that same flavor going again this year and uh, make more. Um, I'm also hoping that I'll have enough uh, tomatoes to get a few batches of stewed tomatoes made. Um, I like to, to do up stewed, stewed tomatoes and I kind of roast them in my oven with some onions and garlic in that, really delicious. I believe I have a video to that, so also put a link for that if you need. Um, and if I'm really lucky, I'll have enough to make a tomato galette for lunch. So I'm asking a lot of this little patch of tomatoes here, but I think there's quite a few ripe. So hopefully I can get that all, all out of this today. But if not, there's plenty more tomatoes to come for later. Beautiful out this morning. The sun is just starting to come up. It's about 13 degrees out. I think it's supposed to get into the thirties later on beautiful place to live Saskatchewan Canada because it cools down at night it can be a little hard to grow those really hot need loving crops but it sure gives us a break from the heat so it doesn't get too overwhelming well, it looks like I can see some broccoli that needs picking too and I might take a few peppers the first place we're gonna to stop to get tomatoes this morning is these uh, Thornbury terracotta. These are recommended to me by a viewer this year, um, John Jude, I believe. I don't think he actually has a channel. Correct me if I'm wrong, John. But uh, he really, really emphatically recommended these tomatoes. So I was having trouble with my other tomatoes and I thought I'd give them a try. And these are excellent tomatoes. At the end of the video, I'll cut one open and do a little taste test for you. And this beautiful kind of golden honey orange color. Some of them have this more pointed bottom and some of them on the plant beside it, uh, which is also a thornbird ter terracotta, are a little bit more round. But they all turn this beautiful color and uh, they've been quite lovely. Quite a few off that plant this morning. No, I don't think there's anything down here. You might notice I pruned up and uh, got some new stakes and just kind of got my tomatoes tied up here a little bit better than they were the last time you saw a video. I don't think there's anything else ripe in here, but now that I've cleaned things up, they should ripen a little better. I do think I want to take while I'm in here a couple of these nice big peppers. These are both King of the North. Really nice peppers. Got another big one with well, two more of that this size hanging. So I'll get a few more for sure. And I have an Antoi Romanian. That's ripe. I usually I usually eat them at the yellow stage, but I have one that's turning kind of a reddy orange, so I'll take those today too. There's several aromas in here. Some are not quite perfectly ripe. Some are just gorgeous. So I'm gonna grab a couple here. This variety is Roma VF. And those will be lovely. Those will be really nice to have. The rest are just not quite ready yet. Lots of aromas left though. They just keep going. Got this little Amish paste. It's 
it's growing all funny. Behind those uh, Amish paste, there's some Elizabeth tomatoes that are looking perfect. So I'm gonna grab those. I don't know if you can see the aphids are just thick this time of year. There's those Amish uh, Elizabeth. They're a nice little Roma. There's lots of cherry tomatoes. And even some currant tomatoes. I don't know how you can see them through all those leaves. But that's not what I'm after today. But next to them is a few more Roma VFs that just got plinked in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna grab those. My basket's getting fuller. While I'm right here, I don't think you can see from your angle, but these little mini bell peppers, they're so yummy. And there's a bunch of bright red ones. So delicious. There's an orange one over on the other plant. So let's make our way to the other side. And I think we'll have more to, to grab over here for sure. So most of these over on this side are black cream. I've got a lot of dill over here. It smells so nice to walk through the dill. These black cream have such a gorgeous smoky flavor. It was such a nice tomato. And I think they produce quite prolifically as well. Oops, I guess that guy had a little Buddy with them, I couldn't see behind me, but that's okay. Might ripe it on the counter. These are full of lace, lace wing uh, eggs. And I wish they'd lay them somewhere that wasn't my tomatoes, because I want the lace wings, but I want the tomatoes more. Last ones right there. I got a pretty good load of uh, tomatoes there. I thought I thought I had quite a few out there. Grabbed a couple peppers. Grabbed those a uh, few cauliflower sprouts that I saw. Or cauliflower. Grabbed a few of these broccoli that I could see when I was uh, opening my video. And I grabbed a couple onions. My onions aren't great this year, but they were um, from Save Seed from an onion that went to seed in a patch of a variety of onions so I really wasn't sure what would come of them so I got something to use and that's fine the uh, ketchup recipe calls for a red onion but I'm just going to use the yellow because that's what I seem to have so that's just what I'm going to use I like to use what I can out of my own garden um, like I told you I'm going to try one of these Amish paste that I grabbed earlier let's get a smaller one here Wipe the dirt off my fingers. Wipe the aphids off the tomato. Try and get right into it so you can see what it looks like inside. So it's pretty orange inside with the green seed cavities. Mm. but really good. I feel like it almost tastes like a salty tomato sauce. It doesn't have that 
mealy texture that some tomatoes have. It's really nice and fresh. A lot of tomatoes I like a little bit of salt on, but this doesn't need it. Very juicy. And even though it looks like it has a lot of seeds in it, I don't find the seeds um, to feel like there's a lot of seeds in my mouth. You know, like some tomatoes, you just really notice those seeds and you just eat them fresh like this. I don't find that with this. Definitely juicy, very delicious. I would recommend this tomato. Thank you for recommending it, John. And uh, it will be one that I continue to grow as long as I can get the seeds for it. John said the seeds were hard to find. I found mine on Heritage Harvest Seeds. So um, that's a Canadian um, heritage seed company. I think he said you could get them at, what is it, Rare Seeds? I can't remember. But you might have to look around a little bit for them. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend that tomato. It's a good tomato. I think it'll be really good with like for the tomatoes, uh, the ketchup. And I think that's where I'll be using the majority of these. And I'll save um, more of the black creme for the, um, the stewed tomatoes. I think those would have the right flavor combinations for what I'm doing. And then the Roma will just be a mixture between the two just to take some of the juiciness out of uh, those two recipes. So thanks for watching my uh, tomato harvest this morning. Like I said, uh, check for those links down below and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.